Alright then, everyone, hello, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Brave New World Blindfolded. So, Stabin's stacked fairly defensively as far as Delahan is concerned. With the Reflect Ring and the Life Bell, Delahan is almost nothing that can hurt Sabin. And really not that hard, to be honest. The other characters are pretty much stacked defensively. Basically, my thoughts are, if any of them die, whatever, they'll be a zombie, they can still attack Delahan and do some damage, and... As long as they don't hit Sabin themselves with uh, too much power, I should be good to go. So that's it for now, let's put the blindfold on. Left. Down. Why does the battle come so quickly, all the time? Oh, whoops, that was dumb. Oh, I got lucky, it was a preemptive strike, so I just lined... Huh? Seven, why are you... Did I accidentally scroll down too? Oh yeah, right, because I never... I never restarted properly after the last attempt. Was that it? Wow, well, it... That went quickly. Skills, item. Remedy. Oops, don't want to do remedy. Well, might as well do remedy first. No one needed remedy. No one needed Phoenix Down. No one needed Revivify. I kind of expected that considering how fast the enemies died. Skills. Up to just less. Magic, cure. People did need healing, though, so I'm glad I did that. Oh, wow, another fight already? I've gone like two steps, come on. This is a pain in the butt. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate. Seven got zombified, which isn't good at all. Hopefully Cesar's insane offense should make up for any issue, so... I also got frighted, which isn't nice either. Maybe Seven wasn't zombified, maybe I just messed it up. Yeah, Seven definitely wasn't zombified. Guess maybe it was Sessa that got zombified instead. <laughs> Last enemy just dies of its own volition, apparently. Seizure status for the win. Alright, so that would be the skills menu. Stop doing that. Item. Three people needed remedies, which is actually a good sign, because it means none of them died. And if I was indeed correct, then Setsu was zombified. Skills. Two to Celeste, magic, here. Now, can I actually go somewhere, please? Down. Right. Up to the chest. Wow. Man, encounters out the ears. Alright, so... Sensor, just murder, whatever that is. If it's an Arag, Sensor does massive damage. If it's something like an Exo Ray, he still does good damage, it's just not murderous. Although extra race, don't they have low defense? Or was that the non-boros? I can't remember now. That battle was pretty short. And this is skills again. No one needed the remedy. Didn't think anyone did. Yep, that went fine. Skills, 
to the Celeste magic here. Barely even needed healing at all. Maneater left into the door. Let's... Could I just make it to Dullahan, please? That was not a four battle stretch. Let's just... Sets or stabs another thing to death. Not quite to death, apparently. If things hit Setsu, there's a chance he'll counterattack for massive damage. So, I want that to happen, as long as they don't hit him to death. Well, that Gigavolt probably killed whoever it hit. And that was probably in a rug, so. Is that the end? Nope. Well, that probably is. Alright. Made it to the end of another encounter, although I probably have some casualties this time around. Item. I didn't think it would be a remedy fight. Yep, those two were gigavolted. No one was zombified, which is... Pretty decent with a rog in the fray. Skills. Magic. Cure. Thankfully, I don't need Celeste's MP for much. Because she's already blown a lot of it. Hello, Delahan. Get ready to be fought and hopefully subsequently murdered. Overcast. Not a shock at all. Alright, so who are you? You are Edgar, so let's, uh, make sure Celeste's turn come up, which it did, as it really well should have. Find the Berserk. Right to Sabin, up to Setzer. Setzer, you are now Berserked. Congratulations. Edgar, you are still in your tools menu. Scroll down to Dispel. Not yet, though, because he hasn't actually applied the stats as yet. Good for you. Using Mancha here is pretty pointless, actually, but just get him out of the way. Now, I only have Celeste coming up in the near future, so Berserk, Sabin, Celeste, choose Celeste. Of course, I do not mean that in the mathematical way, which would make no sense at all. Now that Celeste is berserking herself, I should be ready to start pounding his face. Just start spamming the mantra. Dang it, why? I hope that wasn't Setzer again. Alright, so this should be Edgar. Which means that the only decent person it could have been is Celeste. Um, so scroll up two to jump. That's actually not a good thing. That is a good thing. Still can't tell for sure who is zombified and who isn't. I'll have Sabin defend. Well, that's always nice. Another proc. Alright, Seven's just defending right now. Edgar hasn't even come down yet, what am I doing? Hopefully that hit whoever it hit before. Dang it, Seth is not amongst the realm of the living right now. I'm having Seven defend so that the zombies won't be as likely to kill him. So I can stop skipping through turns right now, since uh, Edgar just jumped through the skies. And Celeste is also zombified. 
Really wish he'd stop using Gigafold in the first couple turns. I'm not sure what the odds of it are, but... Seven can't really heal himself, which is unfortunate, but... The Defend and the Life Bell, I'm hoping that's what's gonna pull him through. Alright. I'll start skipping through turns again soon because Edgar's down. Wrong side, Setzer. It. Oh man. This uh, strat worked extremely well in my test runs. He just. His HP just flew down very quickly. And. Sets. I guess it really depends a lot on whether Sets survives for a while, but. I just didn't get good lucky. Two runs in a row, so. And rather, it's not even so much a matter of getting good luck as opposed to not getting terrible luck. Well, Edgar's not on the ground right now, so that's not a big deal. Nice! Double hit. That's like 5,000 damage. And that hit the right side of the stage, so that's good. And he's dead! Nice. Wasn't flawless. Not as flawless as my test runs, that's for sure. In my test runs, it was pretty much just like, death, 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 death. Victory, but worked enough to work. Now let's hope I can uh, make it to there, because otherwise it would be a real shame if I died to the next random encounter. Left, up, right, up. Uh, what? Why didn't I? Left. Wait a minute. Do I have to go through it? Left. Up. Right. Up. There we go. I think there's a text box or something. I forgot about that in the LG too. BFLG. Alright, now it's easy town because I just have to hold left and mash A. At least until the airship music crops up. Then I can take the blindfold off anyway. <laughs> easy peasy. So, I'm certain by now that the first person, first place voted in as far as where I'm going to go next is Mount Zozo, which is following the breadcrumbs. Kind of the standard route. But it makes sense. Some people voted for all sorts of other things. Only one place has gotten two votes other than Mount Zozo, though. Except for the joke option. <laughs> so this cutscene lasts for quite a while. But, I finally unlocked the airship, finally unlocked the freedom to choose between whatever place you vote for. <laughs> I guess it's not really freedom, is it? But I do have some sort of... I do have a lot more freedom in terms of my preparations now. Because I don't have to spend half an hour walking anywhere anytime I want to do the smallest of adjustments. This should end soon, hopefully. And then I'll be in the world of ruin proper. Making progress. I had, uh, I think, 15 options in my, uh, poll. No, I have, I have 13 options in my poll. As well as Fanatic's Tower and Kefka's Tower. I can take this off. Yeah! So that's 15 places in total. Counting... The joke option is a double up for Daryl's Tomb. So I just completed the 15th last place in the game. That sounds like I'm not really making that much progress when you think about it, but <laughs> at least a couple of these things are quick.
<laughs> Gee, you think? <laughs> hey, look, it's a it's a bird. Don't see those every day. <laughs> why? Just that delay before he says why. <laughs> okay. The airship's piloting itself here, that's why it's acting loopy instead of straightforward. Closing my eyes so that I can... And that's the end of that segment. With uh, the wrong character surviving the Lahan, but that's okay. <laughs> Works for me, as long as one character does it. Let's see how much HP he had full, so he wasn't exactly in massive danger. Good work, my lowest leveled character. Edgar somehow always manages to carry the team. 